So you need a vintage sewing machine, but you don't know where to look. I'm going to give you a hint. Try locally. Try your secondhand stores. Try your antique stores. They may not be expensive as you may think. They might be sitting around in antique stores for so long that the price is coming down. Now, you might pay a little higher. Look in the, uh, check out Salvation Army's, uh, St. Vincent's de Paul, um, and as well as, like, mom and pop's stores. I like to just punch in secondhand stores. Anytime I'm in a different neighborhood, I'll be like, secondhand, st secondhand stores near me and see where it takes me. So if you find that sewing machine, you know what happens a lot of times is the accessories and everything get separated. Now if you're fortunate enough, you find one with all that. I found many, many with just the machine and nothing else. But Normally when you have a table, you find that stuff in the drawers. In a case, not so uh, not so much. So let's get to it. We're gonna call this Santa's Treasures. Box number one. This is the needles. I, let's get my glasses on and get a little closer. Got a little box of needles. First time I'm really looking at them. If anybody can help me out with these, I'm going to name off what the type needles they are. And if you know what they go to, please let me know in the comments below or contact me on Facebook. If you see anything you like, let me know. Everything's for sale. And why can't I get that in focus? These are size 135 by 7, 135 by 5, DP by 5, and DP times 7. I'm assuming it's all those. What do we have here? Are these needles or something else? Uh, well, it's not needles. I don't know what that goes to. What else we have here? Trying to hold them still for a second. 135 by 7, size 24 round. Very interesting old looking box. Here's another same thing but empty. Looks like spilled on the bottom there. But I have others to compare to. So I got maybe a couple boxes of those. What is this? See this is so hard. 135 by 17. M U V A is the name of the company I guess. Another one of those. This time, same one, the 135 by 17s. I don't want to dump it, there's too many needles down here. Uh, just uh, some more feet. Miscellaneous low shank accessory kit, that's what it says. Um, one, why do they make these numbers so small? I think I need a. a a better pair of glasses here. 135, 4R, 135 times 5, 135 by 7. There we go. Maybe I should just stop talking and just do that. Let you all read it. Instead of let, let the poor eyes alone. What does this say? Right to left point needles. Huh? E R and E L for two needles in W140. Oh, thank you for that. Did anybody understand what that means? 
Oh yeah. Let's talking. If you understand that, let me know. If you understand what this means, let me know. 55 BA1. It's all like like they taped it all together. All right. What else we have here? Um, oh yeah, no talking. Just put it in the This actually helps me see it. Can we read it yet? 134, 135. Oh, this is going to be so fun. Hey, Singer Needles. What does it say? Man. I think it says 135 by 5. Okay, I have one of these. Your guess is as good as mine. Empty. And a big old mess on the bottom. Look at the big old mess. Like. Man, oh man. Here somewhere. One thirty five by sevens. That sounds to be a, a common number. One hundred, one thirty fours, one thirty five by sixty five. DP times seven. Wow, just so much to do. Well, there you have it on the needles. And if you like what you saw there, I got about 10 times as many of this in inventory that I can look through as well. If you have a request for needles, if you have anything, you like that was actually in this box just let me know let me know who was in the box in the video so let's move on to the some uh, we had a I posted that video this morning and we already had a member or two ask about some of the the manual so we I just grabbed a few and uh, we're just gonna go over them prices vary on the vintage manuals they always vary depending on condition Interesting. It says Faf Grisner on the back. So this is for a Faf Hobby Lock seven ninety nine. Looks like to be a service manual. We have a once again. It is in English. Hobby Lock forty seven sixty two. Hobby Lock seven fifty six. So we have one, two, three, five fat manuals. I figured I'd grab those. And now we have a Kenmore manual. Oh, what model is that? I should know it. Um, isn't that the one you don't have to oil? Anyways, there's the picture of it. If it looks like that and you need the manual. It's all beat up a little bit on the cover. It looks like, it looks like, uh, uh, one of the kids might have used it as a, a young kid. Used it as a coloring book. 
or, or they really didn't like the rufflers. Oh, oh, this is why you inspect the book. Well, at least the kid didn't get the very important pages. Still useful. Um, Kenmore model 1937. No kidding. Oh, I bet you that's not going to last long. 1937. So, uh, one I do not have. As far as the sewing machine. Sales manual. Round bobbin rotary. This is for a new home. Let's see, sometimes they put a picture of the machine. No? Maybe? Nope. Not this one. Uh, a beat up. Well, no front cover. One that's on my wanted list. One I, in which I do not have yet. A Singer 319. I have the manual. And there's actually a couple things in here I like to look up about the 319. So that's pretty nice. Looks like it's in good shape. Just missing the front cover. Let's see what else we have here. Pull a couple of these out of here. And we have an instruction book for an Elna Supermatic. Elna Supermatic. I like the way they make this. And that's what she looks like. Look at how they made this. Isn't that pretty cool? They made like easy grip things on there. That's pretty smart. I wonder why they make more books like that. Oh, it also, check it out. Boop, boop, boop. Man, that's pretty. That's pretty clever. That is pretty clever. Good job, Elna, for making a cool book. Sweet, a white '77 manual. What a good machine this is. There was the MG or the regular '77. Not exactly sure what the difference is, but the '77 MG had these knobs on this side which would tend, on some models, would disintegrate. And not so much on the 77. If this is just a Series 77. It would work on both machines. They're pretty much the same machine. How to use your Singer sewing machine, type 66. So there's a 66 manual. A 328 manual. If you see anything you like, contact me on Facebook. Click my name, Fred Sanford. Get to my personal messages. And ask me about any of this for sale. I'll be determining the price here. I have to, like that one with the crayons, I gotta go through that with all these and make sure, you know, pages are present and all that. 99.24. Now, what does the, I know what a 99 is, what does the 24 in the back stand for? Let me see if there's any hints. I'm like a detective. I don't know all the numbers. Does that mean it's a treadle machine? Let me see what the picture is. Give me any hints. And according to the book, that's what it is. I don't think that would be just a generic picture. So it has that, whatever they call that finish on there, it looks like. That's what a 24 is, possibly. In really nice shape. I was just checking for odor. That one actually smells like perfume. 2012. Yep, no, no odor on these. 2012. Very nice condition. Prices on these vary normally between two bucks and twenty-five bucks and slightly higher on a 221 book and some others 666 looks like an older book very old book was that green at one time I don't think so it says June 1929 on top let's take a look here oh yeah it's showing it in the table Sixty-six six, huh? Two oh one two. 
missing the front and back cover. Not sure if it's missing any pages. Another 2012. Beautiful copy. Wow, there's like it's like odorless. 1591. Nice white pages. Nice white pages. Another 2012. Wow, I'm impressed. 6616. See, that really confuses. And a 6618. What's the difference? Oh, this one's we got a little we got a little water damage here on the 6618. See the water damage? Water marks. But if I'm real careful, it, it appears to be old. So no odor. It looks like a coffee spill. Keep your coffee away from your service manuals. Yep. So yeah. Anyways, we can get it. Still good. 6618, 6616, and Miss Harley wants to go for a walk. I hope you enjoyed this video. A lot more to come. Have a great day.